I love it when plugins level up and developers roll out features that actually make sense. A while back I made a video about this awesome automation tool called Bitflows, basically a Zapier alternative right inside WordPress. It was already super handy, but now they've packed in even more useful features. And in this video, I'll show you exactly what's new. Let's get into it. As I mentioned, the plugin is called Bitflows. It has a free version and it has a pro version. In this video, I'm gonna use pro version. It allows you to connect your site with more than 200 integrations. Scroll down and you'll see what are available at the moment. The list is really, really long. So you can connect your site, set the triggers and actions, and it's really easy to do. Since I already created a separate video on how to use the plugin, I'm not going to go through all the details again. I'm going to put the link to the previous video in the video description. In this video, I'm going to make a shorter overview. But first, let's take a look at the settings. You'll see that you can activate failed notification tasks, set the number of days to retain the task logs, and enable an option to trigger cron jobs from the cloud. Under custom apps, you can create your own apps. If you're a developer and you want to use the webhooks, then you can see them here. Under the connections, you'll see what connections you have created. Currently, I have connected my site with DeepSeek, Claude, WooCommerce, and Gemini. Under the flows, you'll see all the flows you have created. Currently, I have one. I have deactivated it because next I'm going to create a new one. And dashboard displays all the relevant data to you. Okay, let's go to the flows and let's create the flow. You can select one of the templates, for example, choose an example flow, create, and there it is. Here is your example flow. I don't want to use it, therefore I'm going to go back and I'm going to delete it. As you see, I can edit the flow, see the flow settings here, and I can export it or delete it. I'm going to delete this one here. Next option is to create a blank flow. I'm going to give it the title. Get Woo product description from AI. Let's create. And first we have to select an app or a trigger. What is a trigger is if something happens on your site, then this triggers the next actions. You'll see all the integrations here, PB Press, Brickforge, Breezy, Cardflows, and so on and so forth. I'm going to search for WooCommerce and WooCommerce is here. You'll also see that WooCommerce memberships, subscriptions and bookings are available, but I'm going to choose regular WooCommerce and I'm going to select create product. So if new WooCommerce product has been created, this triggers the next flow. And as you see, first it says I have to listen to the response. I'm going to click on this button. And then what will it do is that now it will see what happens when the new product is created. So let's add a title. Apple Mac Mini M4. This is the product description and this is the product short description. Let's add a regular price and the sale price, tax status, tax class if needed, inventory, SKU, track stock quantity, allow back orders, shipping dimensions. It's needed if you want to create all sorts of data. Actually, I just need a product short description and long description, but nevertheless, I'm going to create all the information so that the bit flows can see what is happening here. Okay, now I'm going to publish it and go back to this tab and you'll see the response has been captured, product title, content, excerpt, and so on. So, this is done. I'm going to close it down and next I'm going to select an action and this time it's going to be Gemini. Under the integrations you'll see create a completion or ask Gemini. I'm going to select create a completion, this one here. Next I can select the connection since I already created one I can select this one here. If you're not connected your site to the Gemini then click on add connection and there you'll see you can find credentials from here. If you click here there are the API keys. Just click on the create the API key button. Pay attention though that you need to have a Gemini account on your name. So create the API key, grab it, paste it here and done. Since I already did it, I'm going to select my current connection. It's refetching the available models. You'll see it here. 
Next, I can select the model. I'm gonna select 2.5 flash. Now I'm gonna click on the add messages button. Role is user. Inside the message box, I'm gonna paste my prompt. That is given a product title, write a compelling product description that explains the key features and so on and so forth. Here I'm gonna add a product title. So if the product title is MacBook Pro, then the prompt is given a product title MacBook Pro, write a compelling product description and so on. This is the prompt. Okay, now under the advanced features, you can set the max token amount, you can set the temperature, sampling value and so on. I'm not gonna do any of those. Instead, I'm gonna click on test run button and it says test run successful. This is the input and this is the output. You can scroll and see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna close it down. Next, I'm gonna add another action and this time it's API request this one here. Make a request. Now I need to add a connection. I'm gonna choose the connection type as basic authentication and now I'm gonna go to the WooCommerce settings advanced rest api i'm gonna add a new key the description is for gemini permissions are read and write generate api key and now i'm gonna copy the consumer key from here to here that is key username and next one consumer secret i'm gonna paste it inside the secret and password box connection name i'm gonna name it as Wu connection. Let's connect it. The request URL is the next one. And the request URL is your domain, WP JSON, WC version three and products. And now what I have to add here is product ID. So this is the URL. Method is put, content type is JSON, and inside the body, I'm gonna add description and the value is this text here. You'll see this is a text that will be transferred from the Gemini. Let's test run it. It says test run successful, so good to go. Now, this basic flow has been created. I'm gonna test flow once. I'm gonna use existing data and under the logs, I'll see what happens. It says processing, usually it takes up to 10 seconds. It says success. Under the details, I'll see that WooCommerce product created, Gemini created a completion, and API request was made. Now it's time to test it. So let's create a new product. I'm gonna give it the title, Apple MacBook Air M4 2025 15 inch let's add a random image also so it's gonna be good regular price and sale price if you need then add any other details i'm not gonna do that at the moment so i'm gonna publish it close the product open up the pit flows under the logs i'll see that it's already created a flow it's processing now it's, it says success if i open it up and scroll down, you'll see there's my nice and long product description with a specifications table. Why is there a table? It's because I added this inside my prompt that is includes relevant specs inside a nicely formatted two column HTML table. So it works. What else I would like to display is under the tools, you'll see all other cool stuff, router, condition, iterator, delay, for example, if you would like to add some delays here or there and so on. I'm gonna show you the router option. I'm gonna add it here. First, I'm gonna unlink this connection, add the router here. Now there is a connection here. Before I explain what is what, I'm gonna add another app. This time it's gonna be a deep seek, create chat completion. I'm gonna select my connection I already had from the models, I'm gonna select DeepSeek chat, max tokens 1024. Now I'm gonna drag this one here just to see what is what. Inside the DeepSeek messages, I'm gonna select user role and 
paste this prompt here. Write an SEO product description for product called, and let's add product title here. Write two, three sentences about the most important benefits, return HTML and so on. So this is going to be the product short description and this is going to be the long description. If the product is created at the same time, Gemini generates long description and DeepSeek is going to generate short description. Oh, I forgot to do something. One step back, let's go to the DeepSeek and let's click on the test run. Test run successful. Now I'm going to add an app. Once again, it's going to be a API request. Make a request. Choose connection, WooRest API. I already created it before. Request URL, the same as before. And it's going to add a product. Sorry, not product title. It's going to be a product ID. Method is put. Inside the body, I'm going to add short description. And value is this content from the DeepSeek. Okay, let's close it down. It's auto saved. Let's test it one more time. Go to the products. Apple MacBook Pro M1 2020. Let's add the price. Sale price. Publish. Close the product. Open up BitFlow logs. And you'll see it says processing. It's going to take 10 seconds or so, it says success, let's view the product, and there you go, there's my short description, awesome, isn't it? As I mentioned earlier, in this video I'm using the pro version, and these are the current prices for the pro version, as you see lifetime prices and annual prices, if you're watching this video later, then take a look at the description of this video, because I'll put a nice 40% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link, use the coupon and you'll get a hefty discount. And that's it. Now you've seen what these new BitFlows features can do for you. Now, if this video made your life even 1% easier, go ahead and commit friendly assault on that like button. It can take it. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I also made a video about another plugin from the same team. It's called BitSocial. This plugin lets you auto post to social media straight from WordPress. And that video is right here on the screen. So check it out next. Until then, take care.